Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the Body Beat Down here on this Friday afternoon. Boy, I'm ready for the weekend. So, uh, I can rest a little bit. Depends on, uh, Depends on how much uh, my granddaughters want uh, their grandpa to do this weekend. <laughs> Just kind of depends. I try to entertain them a little bit, so uh, sometimes I don't get as much rest as I want, but it's okay. It's worth it. So uh, today we're going to be doing some incline bench pressing. I'll go ahead and tell you now, I'm not going super heavy. I'm just going to go to about 315. See if I can do maybe a few sets of that and make myself happy with that. And uh, then we're going to do some uh, back. And for that, we're going to be doing my horrible excuse for some pull-ups. And uh, I got a little goal in mind for those today. So you can stick around and see if I make that goal. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. So uh, today I went ahead and wrapped up with my wraps and got my gloves on. Uh, anytime I bench press or anything, it, it hurts my carpal tunnel even more. And it literally feels like your veins and arteries, not arteries, but your veins and whatever, nerves and all that are just going to rip out of your hand, out of your wrist. So uh, it's kind of uncomfortable, but I don't let that stop me. If I let pain stop me, I would have stopped over 25 years ago. So... Let's go ahead and start our bench pressing and uh, get done with this and get done with this week because I'm ready. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys.
Well, there you go, guys. Another workout over and done. You'll notice that you're not gonna see my pull-ups in this video. I'm gonna get my bearings together, uh, cool down just a little bit. This video is gonna be edited and uploaded and all that stuff. And uh, then I'll do a separate little video with my pull-ups, I hope. Uh, go look for it, maybe. I don't know. Look over there or over there somewhere. Go find it, if I do it. So. Anyway, uh, I stuck to my guns on this workout. I didn't do anything too crazy. Uh, I only wanted to go to 315 and that's what I did. Plus, I may have gotten finally a PR, a rep PR with 315 at five reps, maybe on the incline. Uh, I haven't looked back. It'd take too much time and effort to look back. But I bet that's a, I bet that's a rep PR. Maybe. And, uh, and I wanted to stick with 315 instead of dropping in weight and more reps. Just what I felt like doing. So uh, I felt pretty good uh, with all that. And then on my last two sets, going ahead and pushing out two reps each instead of the ones, the one reps. So overall, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I want to touch base on my gloves and my wraps. Of course, like I mentioned, I did that today because it does strain my wrist my stupid carpal tunnel uh, like I said it feels like my veins and nerves and all that are gonna pop right out of my wrist uh, it does hurt I can't sleep hardly anymore but uh, I'm holding off on getting anything done until I feel like doing it so uh, but I wanted to just mention that uh, with these wraps and these gloves on they make everything a little thicker your palms thicker and uh, you'll notice when I bench press with these on that I don't use my typical suicide grip. When I bench press, I typically am like this. That's suicide grip. Uh, uh, whenever I'm using my gloves, a lot of times you'll see me do more of a conventional uh, standard grip because the bar is not able to really sit down into my hand. I can't get them to connect like, you know, safely to where I can, to where I feel mentally okay doing my regular suicide grip. So that's just something you might want to think about if you do suicide grip, make sure you think about that. If you don't do suicide grip, but you ever think about doing it, uh, make sure you think of these things. You want to think ahead. You don't want nothing to happen. Uh, as far as suicide grip goes, that's what I've been doing since the 90s. That's how I was shown to do uh, by uh, one of my wife's, not one of my wife's, but wife's uncle. She has like five uncles. Uh, he works out and uh, way back in the 90s he showed me uh, how he how he benches and it was with suicide grip and ever since then that's what I've done so you will see me periodically do a standard grip but uh, I'm pretty good I'm pretty used to the suicide grip so uh, anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed seeing me uh, stick with the 315 I enjoyed doing that it was just enough push so uh if I give you a little inspiration to do something yourself like this and uh, maybe even better, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. If you don't mind. And uh, while you're at it, maybe uh, get up, get out, get red. And do it, do it. We'll see you next time on the body beatdown. Which should be the little pull-up video that I'll upload later. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!